Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Welcome to our home cooked meal collab. In this video Rob is going to be making keto friendly chicken soft tacos. We'll have the playlist linked in the description box below so please check out everyone's video. They're all amazing. And let's get started. And these are the ingredients that you need for it. Of course the chicken which I'm making it so easy by using already pre-cooked chicken which you're just going to be heating up here. And of course you need the tricolored uh, peppers here which you can get in some grocery stores already cut up but if you don't have them cut up you just get a green pepper a red pepper and a yellow pepper and you just dice them up yourself and of course you're gonna need the the keto friendly wraps here and also gonna need a uh, um, cilantro One large tomato, an avocado, but I hope this avocado is pretty good because it's kind of working on the brown side, so I'm hoping it's all right. So that's all I had in my grocery store. That was on the cheaper side, other than a very expensive avocado. Also going to need some uh, rice to cauliflower. Your favorite keto friendly uh, taco seasoning. And this one is not what the actual taco seasoning is in here. This is actually a homemade taco seasoning. Seasoning that I got from um, um, uh, Mandy in the Making. And it's her recipe. So if you want to check out the recipe for hers, she has it on her channel. In one of her videos, she'll have her, have her taco seasoning on there. Or you can check it out on her Instagram because I th think that she put it on her Instagram. And her Instagram got the same name, Mandy underscore in underscore the underscore making. And of course, you need some olive oil. And I got a new uh, dicer here, here to uh, cut up the uh, tomato with. But anyway, if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your tomato cut up just enough so you can put it in your dicer if you have one. Or you can dice it by hand. Which I'm not the best dicer, so that's why I said, screw it, I'm getting one of these little dicers that I, that I see everyone using. And, and I just got this cheap one from Kroger one day. It doesn't have to be fancy, just enough to get it so that you can have a dice step. And I'm trying to remove this little stem over here on here. So this is. I think it is dice step. Just enough so I can stick it in the thing. Okay, there's that. that out of there. I couldn't have. Get the force. Because this is a large tomato. Very large tomato. Clean this and cut it one more time. Just so that there not too big of a slice is for the dicer here. Okay, that's good enough for the, that'd be good enough for the dicer. Okay, that's good enough. So now I'm gonna bring my dicer in here. Make sure you can see it. Make sure you can see it. Okay, so open the dicer. Take the tomato on there and just press it down. So 
Uh, hang on, I just need to push down the tomatoes a little sticking, sticking to it, but put that through there, put the next one on there. On there, put the next piece on there. Nicer in there. Put the next one on there. Put the next one on there. Okay, so now we got that cut up. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is cut up the uh, avocado. So hopefully this avocado will be decent. Oh, I'm hoping it'll be decent here. It's been a while since I cut up an avocado. I hate when I put stickers on it. I hate when I put the dumb stickers on there. Get this avocados. Just slice enough so I can get this spit out of here. Trying not to cut myself here. Wow. That was easy. I've never had a pit just fall out before, but hey, I'll take it. And it is a little soft on the uh, avocado, but it'll be good enough for what we want to use it for. So that's ready, so the next thing we want to do is go heat up the, uh, go heat up the, uh, peanut butter peppers, heat up our chicken, and add the taco seasoning to it, and heat up the, uh, heat up the cauliflower and the microwave, and then we're about ready to assemble it. So I'm going to take you over and show you how I heat up the, uh, the, uh, chicken and the peppers here. So I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing I'm going to go to do over here is just start this uh, uh, rice cauliflower over here in the microwave. I'm going to turn on to like a medium high to like a, almost a medium heat here. here so that it, cause you don't want the stuff to burn over here. And add your little bit of olive oil, not too much. You don't need too much. That's more than enough olive oil. I'm going to let that heat a little bit. So that again here are the peppers that we're using for it it gives you a better look at it because I don't want to redo it here so I'm gonna put the peppers in here peppers in there and after that we Gonna be adding the uh, chicken to it, but not quite yet, and not until the peppers are heated up here. So I'll show you here. So I'll be back once the uh, peppers are heated through, and I get the uh, little bit of who here. After I add the taco seasoning into that mixture over here, don't want to add too much. I like a lot of taco seasoning, but but just as much as you like, but that's about the amount that I'm going to like for now. Because I know I'm going to add a little bit more when I add in the uh, the uh, cauliflower and the chicken. But anyway, I'll be back once the uh, be back once this is uh, 
heat it up here. Okay, it's heated through. Now we're ready to uh, add in the uh, rice cauliflower here, and then the uh, then the grilled chicken over here. And then another dash of the uh, taco seasoning. Once I get this package open over here, well. Doesn't make it easy. Oh well. Give me a knife. And our chicken. Pieces that fell on the side. Chicken. Okay. Now we just want to heat that up with a little bit more taco seasoning. But not too much because you added enough on the uh, peppers. A little bit more taco seasoning. Okay, so there's that. I just want to say grab a spoon over here now. Mix this up over here. And you don't want your rice cauliflower to, to burn, so I would definitely want to turn it down so that it doesn't burn while you're heating up the chicken here. Because the rice cauliflower is already hot from being inside the microwave. So I'll be back once we're all heated through and ready to assemble everything. Okay, so everything's now heated up. So now all I have to do is cut up the, uh, dice up the cilantro. Mine's not the best looking, but it's all that they had at my store. So I just need a little bit of it just for your tacos. I'm putting about four of these together. So I just need enough for four of these. Then I'm gonna throw away the rest of the cilantro. You don't want too much of it on there because it will give a strong flavor. Okay. So we're going to do this. Dice up my. Cut up my cilantro. Maybe a little bit more cilantro over here. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Because I don't want too much. And if I need a little more, I can always add a little bit more. So, okay. Here's our cilantro. Move our knife out of the way. Move our cilantro out of the way. So that I can move the... Uh, Cutting board out of the way. So I can put the plate over here so we can plate everything up. Okay. There's that out of the way. Give me the plate. So here's our plate. Which I'm going to get you more in the frame here. I want to get you more in the frame. Of it. Sorry about my arm there. I was trying to get you more in the frame. So, okay. Much better. So that you can see what I'm doing over here. Put everything together. I'm just going to show you just making one, but I am going to do four for myself because these are pretty tiny and they're definitely healthy for you because they're mostly veggies. So here's the one here, put a little bit of the mixture here, a little bit of the cauliflower and the peppers in the center. Okay. 
in the center, then add a couple of pieces of the chicken on there. Okay. Maybe just one way little, eh, that'd, that'd be good enough. Then add a little bit of the avocado on top. You know, and you can just scoop out a little bit. Well, I don't care with mine. I can use my little fingers to get the avocado. Just a little bit of avocado here. A little bit more. Okay. And I do have more avocados if I don't have enough. Because there's enough avocado. Add a little bit of cheese to it, but and this is a Mexican blended style cheese here that I'm using. And you know I normally use my dairy free cheese, but recently I've gone keto because I found out that it's better for my pre diabetes to help keep my blood sugar down, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna be doing well. This a tear here, but their little tear here is not cooperating. Don't you just hate it when the bag doesn't want to open the way it's supposed to? I mean, I hate that crap. They say tear here, but where's the tear line? It might be a little overfilled here for the chicken, but. For me, it's good enough. There's a little bit of cheese, not too much. Okay, there's that. So, I'll be back for the taste test. Okay, now I'm ready for the taste test. And one thing I forgot to add on when I was assembling it was tomatoes. So I've added the tomatoes onto it, as you can see here. Added the tomatoes onto it. And now let's give it a little taste test here. If I get the chicken so I can fold it here, <laughs> the chicken wants to fall out, so. Okay. Try to get all the cheese on top. Try to keep everything in. To get a bite of everything. Okay, now I'm gonna. Out of all the soft tacos I've ever made, this is the best one I've ever made. And it's so simple. You will love this. It's the best one that, that I've ever had. Even it being keto, I don't care. This is the best one I've ever had. And I recommend it to anyone. This is an easy, simple recipe. And it doesn't take long to cook. Like, if I wasn't filming here, it'd probably take you about no more than a half hour to put this together. So you can have this meal done in under, probably under 30 minutes. And that even includes all your dicing and cutting up your avocado and everything. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to click that little bell icon so you know when this video is coming out. And of course, the playlist will be linked in the description box below, so don't forget to check out everyone else's videos. Again, they're all amazing. And our social media will be linked in the description box below as well. And thank you for watching.